Surdy's comp 2024. What happened, mate? Why don't you let everyone there know what oh, you did yeah. to yourself? So you gotta do it, you gotta break the rough stuff. Yes. <laughs> Just gotta focus on what I'm doing at the hell most of the time. This is a hectic. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's so heavy. <laughs> This fishing and adventure side mission is proudly brought to you by Hyapool. All right, we're on team. Surdy's comp 2024. We're heading to Fakatane. Myself, Ben, David, from behind the camera, he'll be doing some fishing. Mig will be joining us on the uh, boat ramp and at the accommodation, but he won't be coming fishing with us. Poor old Migs, he's done himself a mischief. I'll let him fill you in on that when we catch up with him later on. But Navarra's pretty much ready to go. Holy ship's all but loaded up. Just got a bit more stuff to chuck in there, a little bit of bait and burly, and I think we're good to go. Pretty pumped, actually. We've got Kingi, Snapper, Trevally, and Kahawai as our target species for this comp. Those are the ones that'll be in for some prizes. Hopefully we can get some prizes. Good old holy ship, get her in the money, but yeah. Pretty pumped. Weather's looking 50-50. It's already 11 o'clock, so let's get this gear loaded up, get this bait and burly sorted. Somewhere in here, hoping not too far down, is um, what we arguably the best bait in the ocean, depending on who you talk to. But the flying fish, that's what I'm looking for. Aha! There they are. They're looking a bit worse for wear, but they'll be good. Three flying fish, hopefully, uh, turn those into three big kings. A couple of big rainbow trout. Anyone used trout before? Let us know in the comments below if you've ever used trout or anything similar to catch big fish because. Uh, we may catch one tomorrow. Let's wait and see. But we'll give it a go. What do you reckon, Dav? Give it a go. Dav is nodding. He's, a, he's into a bit of a trout. He wants to get a big kingy on a trout. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, fuck. Take two. Oh. No. Yep, we're good. Oh, All right, some bait and belly. Alright, another plate's done. I think we're good to go, Dave. Let's get a bit more food. I'm going to have to learn how to use that camera at some point, though. Should we do it now? Yep. David's not going to be uh, behind the camera the whole time because he's going to be doing some fishing. Without Mig there, we're going to need all the people catching the fish as we can. We good? Red light? You reckon, Dave? Good to go, mate. Looks good on you. Yeah, I'm nailing the focus. You don't know. No idea. <laughs> no idea. So let's get some shots of the boat here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There you go, make my way down the boat. Steady as. I'm out of a job already. <laughs> now you got a new job, mate. You get a fish now, and you gotta and you gotta do the consequences. Okay, no. Oh, it looks like Ben's arrived. In style. Not really. In a rowdy that thing. Hey Ben. Got her. What are you um what are your confidence levels like this early on in the you know, day out? Uh, well, up until like, what, two months ago, I never caught a legal kingy, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. No, oh, no, true. you got your PB recently, didn't I you? Did, yeah, that's what I mean, up until oh, two months ago. Oh, was it in Yeah, knocking on. 20 to 20 giga. Ben got 20 giga on the stick bait off his yacht at Great Barrier Island. What the hell? Yeah, it's not bad. Pretty excited. Yeah. Took about five million casts, but we got there. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, anyway, we'll. Confidence is high. Yeah, high. Okay. Yeah. Because you got some confidence. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Stick baiting out at the bogmans. Probably liveys or dead baits. Uh, yeah, you'll be right, mate. Are we taking any free dive gear? Nah. Don't worry, the throw net's in. That's all you need to know. Free dive. Yeah. We're going to free. There's no. There's, there's no species. We're doing the comp. You and David are fishing the comp as hard as you can, and I'll be doing most of the filming. Okay. We've got GoPros as a backup. Oh, that's good. Some on the spool, some on the lens. 
Hopefully not thumb on the lens. But yeah, thumb on the ball, definitely. Oh, let's go. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. Yeah. How's it? No good. Yeah, it's a bit on the blink, but on the blink. Should be right. What happened, mate? Why don't you let everyone there know what oh, you did to yeah. yourself? So I did the old wedding ring caught on the dry shaft of the stock car, fully degloved my finger, dislocated the end. We and won't show a picture of that. Oh no, it won't be allowed. It's just <laughs> nobody wants to see that. No, it's pretty fair. grim. So I won't be fishing this weekend. That's a bit stink. No. Nah. Yeah, you just have to sit at the shore. Yeah, sit at the shore and I'll hold Come down. to the accommodation, I'll hang out with the boys. And I'll hand out coffees. Hand out coffees, I'll come do, to briefing, I'll do prize giving. Yeah, yeah. Do, do. I'll earn my wage while well, these guys are having fun fishing. We'll do the hard yards out on the water for you, mate. Yeah. Sweet, off to the briefing. This is the Whakatane Sport Fishing Club. So this is where the prize giving the briefing takes place. Briefing's tonight, we've got to get in there and catch up with Isabel from Surtees and just see what our involvement in that is, eh? Yeah, that's it. Shouldn't be anything too major, but we'll get in there and check it out. It's a pretty cool club, so. Yeah. You won't be any shaking any hands and handing out any prizes though, will you? No, I can shake some hands still. I've still got another hand. <laughs> Didn't take out both of them. I know what you'll be doing with that hand, and I won't be shaking. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so here we are standing in front of the prizes for the uh, weekend. What do you get to, what do you do in a prize, Michael? It's obviously catching the biggest fish. There'll be some mystery length prizes as well. Longest or some fish. Mm. Average length. So it's all it's all length, so not weight. So usually in the past fishing competitions all been about the heaviest fish, so now it's all about catch and release, which is great. But um, to you be don't part, have to release it though. To you be can. part of this fishing yeah. comp though, you have to have a Surtees boat, which is what we have. Um, so it's a big part of this comp is gonna be Surtees owners um, all getting together, which is pretty cool. It is cool. So yeah, it's the uh, boat versus the boat really. Holy ship versus the rest. Briefing pretty straightforward, rules all explained. I understand about the bar, which is pretty important. Can't launch you after 6.30, which is all good though, because we're going to be uh, handing out some coffees. But yeah, gave out some pro spot prizes, which is cool. Some happy punters getting some cool prizes. Over 270 angles, I think it was, uh, in this particular comp, which is which is awesome. Yeah, 80 or 90 boats, so there'll be a fair few people uh, heading out tomorrow morning around the same time, which is cool. Now I think it's off to the soups, do a bit of a load up, try and get our kai in for the next couple of days. Migsy might get us a bit of a roast on the go, so we'll get some stuff for that. So we come back to a nice warm meal on Saturday. Now we're just back at our digs. Boat's all loaded up, uh, pretty much sorted for the morning. Let's need to figure out our game plan now. So, uh, Benjamin. You in the game plan? I'm in. You in the game plan? I'm in the game plan. You in the game? No, not in the game. Not in the game? No. <laughs> You're out with the planning, buddy. No, I'm out with the plan. Just like a coach, eh? Pretty Sit on the sidelines. Yeah. You guys perform. What are we doing? What are we doing then? Big kingies, eh? Where? Big kingies? Nah, nah. Little, yeah. little fish. Oh, <laughs> you're out of the game. White Island. Whakaare. Whakaare. Yeah, that's a uh, White Island, the volcano. Volcanic, uh, well, uh, active volcano, isn't it? It sure is. Mm -hmm. About 50 k's offshore. And it's where some massive kingfish can potentially be. So that's quite exciting to go there. Um, so yeah, big kings at the volcano. Yeah. Oh, no, there you go. Plan A. David, are you into the plan A? David's in for plan A. Thumbs up, he likes a big kingie. The thought of tussling a big kingy and potentially what, anyone. What else have you got out there though? Like you only got Trevis, kingies that they're off. Trevis. Oh, Trevis. 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 Trevelli, which is another species in the comp. Oh yeah. Good, Good. call there, Michael. It's worth thinking about. Yeah, because yeah. if one? the kingies are off, then you got to have a plan of something Absolutely. Else, so. Big dog Trevis out there. Yeah, nice. So yeah, that sounds like a pretty good plan. We've got a pretty average weather forecast in the morning, but we can deal with that. We're in a holy ship, so. Mm. I'll just crack up and leave hand, eh? <laughs> <laughs> just the whole time just sitting there. It's so good. Yeah. Oh, uh, poor Michael. Right, yeah. David behind the camera, also fishing tomorrow. 50% of the fishermen probably. I'm going yeah. to be probably at the helm. What do you think? I, yeah, we'll I see need to hear Let's hear something. You can hear you from behind the camera. Chip, add your two cents, friend. About what? About what you think. What are we talking about? You you liking what we, you're hearing? Yep. Yeah. Liking what we're hearing. Anything okay. else? More, anything to add? Anything? Nah, nothing to add. Bedtime? Bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so I think the jug's on, isn't it? Brew. Yeah, jug's it's early days. Yeah, let's get the jug down. Yeah. Okay, a cup of tea and then. Uh, a lot more chat about what we're going to do tomorrow and see you guys in the morning. Oh, 
here we are. First morning, everyone's getting their brews and their, and their kai. Free breakfast from Honda and uh, free coffee, thanks to Lusty and Blundells and Raymarine, which is pretty cool. Those guys putting on the uh, morning uh, goodies for the for the crew. Anyone that's in this comp gets that for free, which is pretty sweet. See, so we're here, help out with that for a little bit. Hand out some coffees, help people launch their boats, and itching to get out there, but we just gotta wait, just gotta wait. Do our, uh, do our bit for the sponsors, what it's all about. And obviously engage with the fans and the viewers and stuff, which is cool. Well and truly daylight now. Boats are still coming in thick and fast though. Whole lot behind us here, still the line still pretty much back to the road. Heaps of certes, it's cool. And the wind has died completely, so I'm hoping that that means that the weather forecast may be slightly different to what we thought it was going to be when we checked it this morning, but like we keep saying, it doesn't matter what that is, we've got a whole ship, so we're just going to send it, hopefully soon. Hopefully real soon actually, because everyone else is going fishing and we're just standing here waiting. It's all good, it's all good. We'll be out there in a minute. Later mate, see ya mate. Have fun at the uh, cafe. Words for that, that's just sad. Damn, no liveies. One little mackerel and one medium kahawais. So we're going to just get out there because it's we're running out of time. So straight out to. Out to the volcano, out to White Island. So the weather around the corner there is hideous, but we're going to make our way around the island just to see if we can find a bit of terrain and on the way we're going to control these liveys. Jack Mack on this one, David will run this. Ben, you're going to run the decent sized kahawai. Might as well hiff them in. These dogs here will hopefully um, do the damage with cruise long. Boat is just, just going to be in gear. And uh, Ben's got the big bopper rod, Ben. Yeah. Lock and load. Drag them out. It is a competition. Yeah. Alright. Hopefully. That's all you'll see from me, other than I'll be at the helm, and then these boys will be out the back scrapping big kingies. Let's go. Just want to take a quick moment to thank Hyapool for supporting us and allowing us to bring you this epic side mission right here on YouTube. Hyapool is New Zealand's largest hire company. They've been operating for over 60 years and they've got 70 stores all over the country. If you're looking to get those DIY jobs done around the house, or if you're a tradie needing that specialist equipment for the job site, they have everything you could possibly need to get the job done. Jump online and check it out yourself. We'll chuck the link in the description. The only way we can create this content and bring it to you completely free is with the backing from our sponsors and brand partners. So cheers hi Paul, and now back to the action. Is that a whack? That was a whack. Holy oh, fuck. You bumped that? That's not hard enough. Yeah, got it. You let him go, let him go, let him go. Let him go, let him go. Let him go, let him go. 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 Hold on, Benjamin! Hold up! Just hold, don't whine, just hold! Oh, is he there? No, he's there, he's there! You sure? Yeah! Might be getting shark! You gotta keep going, gotta keep going! Yeah, just keep going, I've got this, it's all good! What are you up to? How many knots? Seven! 90 metres, we've got to get out a bit more yet! Just hold on. Feel 
That was a solid hit. Woo I don't think we got any any sharks following us just oh, yet. No, 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 you don't speak too soon, mate. Just fucking hold on. Yeah, big bait. So you gotta do it, you gotta embrace the rough stuff. Yes. <laughs> that better not be a shark. It might be a shark. Ah. Could be the kingy still. Then go harder, go tighter on the drag. Just don't fall in. Go tighter, go tighter. <laughs> Ah! Fuck! Shark, they were reefed. Shark. You sure? Yeah. It's gone, everything gone slack? Yeah. No, he's reefed. Oh, you reckon? More or less How deep were we? Like 140. Snap the line. Snap the line. No, we weren't 40 here, but... Oh, wow, that was... Shit. Woo! That was big. I couldn't go any faster. Big animals. Nah, I could have gone a bit more sunset, but it yeah. wasn't stripping out. Like he just went, just, yeah, I don't know what's happened there, something's broken. We've broken the main line or we've snapped. It's, it, hasn't, it hasn't been shark because otherwise there'd be a bit of weight there because it would have got the, unless the shark took the trace, but I reckon we've, we've broken somewhere else. I reckon it just somehow got to the reef. Shit. My livey got pinched. Your livey got pinched. It was on back there. It's rough as, like you probably can't do it. Like the camera doesn't do it justice how actual rough it is. It's so challenging to try and fish. We can't even sit, we can't drift. We have to just drive and try and troll these baits around. A small little bit of sign trying to drive over it, and we finally did it and got them right in the right place. And bang, that was a good fish, man. That was a good fish. Ah! We got the, we got back to the swivel. Oh, yeah, no, it did shark, bro. Oh! oh! Pulled the hook. Oh. That's even more, wow, well, that's probably the best, best situation. Fish swims free. That was a big king, he just said, no chafe on the trace, obviously a big king. And then obviously we got him out, got him out, got him out, and then he realised, the king he realised was like, stuff this, I'm out, and he went on that barn burner of a run, and just, yeah, managed to pull the hook, oh, he managed to free himself, the kingfish. That was a biggie, man. Feels fine, eh, the trace? Yeah, it's all good. Oh, <laughs> oh let's do it again, we've got no liveies, but... Oh, uh, we've got, we got the magic the baits, though. Got the fine, but yeah, let's get back in there. Ah! Oh, there, boys! Oh, there's the trans, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go first, Dale. You're going across that way. Nice. Get in there, Dave. Get in there again. Oh. No, you got him now. Still good. Oh, no. Yeah, that was a good fish. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Big side on Trevelli. That's so heavy. <laughs> Get him up, please. Woo. Yeah, Trevor, bro. He'll be on the measurement, all right. Try and get some underwater footage of him. Oh, he's a nice trip. It's a donk. It's a donk. He's a lengthy one. How well is he hooked? Pretty well, eh? Pretty well, yeah. I think Grad, um... No, he is good, yeah. Is that one in the mouth. He's got one in the mouth. Has he? Yeah. yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. That's a good trip, man. Definitely yeah, definitely on the measure, Matt. Yeah, well hooked. Yeah, in the, kind of in the mouth, eh, and then in the side. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes, they, well, these, what the Trevally do, they krill, they're eating krill, the little wee, like, shrimp, basically. So they're swimming around with their mouths open, just mouthing them. They don't often take baits or lures. So, went with the old-fashioned cast into the middle of them with those big treble hooks, and then just j basically jag them, because they're on the surface. I mean, hold them up, bro. Yeah, it's a good treble. Yeah, he's weighty. It's more about the length, that's what we want in this comp. Mean. So Sheems? Yeah. So on ice, we'll yeah. Yeah. knock him on the head, obviously, and put him on ice because we'll lead him. But we'll take a photo of him on the measure mat first. Yep. Enter him in the competition, and that could be up there. Most definitely. So I knocked him on the head. So he's a dead fish now. And he's measuring in at 58 centimetres. Nice, Trevor. Absolutely stoked. Absolutely stoked. Woohoo! <laughs> 
All right, so I'm full time at the helm, which is all good because the boys have been out the back and managed two solid trevs. 58 and 57, I think it was, Dave? 50, yeah, 58 and 57 centimetres, respectively. So, a couple of nice trevers there. Hopefully, they are uh, in for a chance with the prizes. There's nobody else fishing in this area because it is it's so uncomfortable. It's just, yeah, but we're all good. We're on the board, hopefully, and uh, plan now is to go back into the Kings. Thanks to our mate, thanks to our mate Mick from uh, Club Talk Charters. He gave us a call on the radio, asked if we wanted any flying fish. They make premium dead bait. So, because we've got no liveies, of course we said yes and he came through us about six quite fresh they're, they're, they're dead but flying fish so we're gonna yeah go back to kingy mode now and see if we can't try and convert a kingfish after that big stonk that Ben lost we definitely got an appetite for it so <laughs> just gotta focus on what I'm doing at the helm most of the time this is a hectic oh man this is some rough weather but Sir is built for it he's got to have a good stomach and uh, embrace it well reasonable amount of time has passed you haven't seen much because not much has happened. Other than the fact that the weather's got a bit better, which I guess is one bonus. Fishing's been slow though. We can actually finally fish properly now, but now it seems the fish aren't uh, interested. Plenty of sign, just, yeah, nothing happening, so. Perseverance is the key though, that's what we're gonna employ right now. Perseverance, stick at it until we have to be back over the bar before dark, so we've got about another hour and a bit for a Hail Mary Kingy, hopefully. Wish us luck. And if you don't see anything more, you'll see us first thing tomorrow morning. See you there. So it is comp day two. Let's do it. Kingfish, like what we got yesterday, what we hooked up to yesterday, is, it was a bit too strong. So we're going to steam out all the way back out to White Island again, and we've got about five-hour window to try and bag a big boy. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Into it. Can't wait. Gonna let the Coast Guard know what we're up to. Trip report. Get that done. And we sit back and just wait. Just hurry up and wait to get out to there. We've got a tank full of liveys now, not heaps but enough, so live bait means a lot more options. And we've got some of those dead baits from yesterday, so yeah. Better weather window, so that means we should hopefully be in for a better session. See it for Cardi. Well day two so far has been going a lot like day one, slow and rough. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Been in touch with a couple of the other boats too and they've been saying similar things, not a lot happening out here. That's the way it goes, but uh, we did manage one kingy. Yeah, Dave! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, hold on, brother, hold on! Which was nice to finally turn one around, but yeah, only a rat, really, in the grand scheme of things. It's got to be over a metre to even be a measure in fish, so it would probably be in about 85, maybe 90 centimetres at a push, but yeah. Nice to come up tight on one, but definitely not the size we're after. So now, pretty much last ditch effort, we've got an hour and a half, maybe two hours before we have to be on our way back. Um, and get our fish measured, but yeah, when it's not over till it's over, we'll hold out a little bit more hope here, troll a couple more liveys around, maybe flick a couple of stick baits and just try and pull out a king that's just over a metre will be nice, I'll be happy with that. Ben, you be happy with that, over a metre? I'll be happy with that. That'd would you? Good. Yeah. yeah. No bigger? Um, I'd like it if one of the kingies that come up has got my sunglasses in their mouth. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, mate. That's <laughs> more, you're more likely to get a two metre kingfish than you are to get your sunglasses back. Yeah. You'll, they'll turn up. No, 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 I just dropped my other, my other pair over Do there. Do you? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> now I'm two down. For <laughs> sakes. Yeah. It is quite sunny. What else did you do? Wrap the prop? Yeah, wrap the prop. <laughs> Caught no fish. <laughs> Put the bottom. Uh, we on. Go on, mate. 
Yeah. 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 Not too far back, don't go too far back because you know, it's a little bit embarrassing those earlier days. But you know, you've all got to start somewhere and uh, thankfully these guys have been with us to support us along with uh, a couple of our other key sponsors and we're really thankful for that. And we're super stoked yeah, to be in a Cersei's boat and if you haven't seen it, holy shit, the new one, so check it out because uh, yeah, she's a weapon. Well, what was a relatively, what felt like a relatively unsuccessful fishing trip was actually quite successful, yeah. boys. Happy with what you got there, Benjamin? It's dope, yeah. Second and, second and first, eh? In the yeah, threads. yeah. Pretty bloody good. And Ben took out the, what they call it, the Hall of Fame Trevally, so it's like the biggest Trevally over the last five years. And then if he uh, can maintain that Trevally size for the next couple of years, he keeps his, keeps it, gets another prize. Yeah, Hall of Famer. Famer. Look at this, eh? Not a bad comp. Not a bad comp. Not a bad couple of days overall. How are you feeling, Michael? You all right? Yeah, I'm all good. Should be right. Yeah. <laughs> Home for a bath? Home for a bath. Home for a bath. Yeah. Well, thanks everyone for watching uh, this little side mission. Appreciate your support. If you can hit that like and subscribe button, that really helps us grow this channel. So uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Till then, adios. Yo, catch ya.